Hey, what is going on, pros and prices? It's Kim Jen, who's just one, two, three, eight. I welcome another sit down commentary session topic talk. Again, letting old COD 4 gameplay play in the background. The final score is 36 to 6 on Domination on Overgrown. So, here we are for another sit down commentary, guys. Today's commentary will be Does money cause problems? Now, there's obviously a big area surrounding money. You know, we rely on it today. Well, we don't rely on it, we literally, well, it's not even relying on it. Let's say, without money, the world cannot function, the world will not, you know, the world will not go around. Money makes the world go around, you know, go around. And I think we've, you know, we've relied on money so much that it's got to a point where it's, we can't now sort ourselves because we all know, you know, what money's like these days. You know, without it, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, and it's a shame for some people because they, they generally... You know, do struggle and stuff. Uh, but as far as money does actually cause problems, I think it does because you know, money. We have to think about businesses, governments, and stuff like that, and it, and it does, you know, affect a whole wide, you know, a, a wide host and a wide, you know, varied audience. But I mean, let's just talk about like me and you. You know, day to day, does money cause problems? Now, at the end of the day, you know, I, me personally, you know, I work hard. You know, um, I, I save my money. You know, I. You know, I've you know I have a couple of jobs. I'm always looking to get money. I'm always trying to save jobs. So me, personally, I'm fine with money. You know, I've got enough, not enough, but you know, what I mean, I've, I've I've got money. Like if I need something, I can buy, or if I need something from a car, I can buy. Like that, I have to wait, you know, because I save my money and I'm sensible with money, which is fine. But again, now that's where money does cause problems because I'll ask my friends, you know, or or you know, whoever. I'll ask, you know, do you want do you want to do something? You know, do you want to say go play some pool? You know, grab a couple of drinks. You know, go out, whatever. And they'll come back to me and they'll be like, oh, I haven't got any money. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to swear, but I'm like, for freak sake, and look, because then you know it ruins my night out because you know I want to go out play some pool and you know, have a drink. You know, socialize with make friends, or whatever. But because they haven't got money, you know, they cannot afford a, a two pound drink, and you know, they cannot afford a pound for the for the freaking pool machine, and they cannot afford the fuel. And that's what really annoys me because. That's where money does cause problems, where, you know, we can't go out, have a nice time, simply because of money. Now, again, I, I know I could say, well, they could be better at saving their money and stuff. Now, yes, which is true, you know, because I'm, I'm really careful with my money personally, and I know people aren't as careful and stuff, and people don't work as hard, and whatever, and vice versa. Which is understandable at the end of the day, but there's always a way to get money, you know. You can always get an extra job, or you can always start... You know, just selling stuff. Or just there's always an extra way to get money. You know, whether it's washing cars, or we can, you know what I mean. You can always get, you can always try. You know, at, at least try. Don't just say, oh, I'm stuck in this, in this, you know, in this minimum wage job in town. You know, in this town setting. You know what I mean, try and, you know, again, there's nothing wrong with that because a job is a job. But you know, try and like excel yourself. Try and get somewhere nice. You know what I mean. Try and try and be always better than an extra person. That's what my dad always said to me. You know, my parents always said to me. You know. Try and you know always try and be that better person than that other person. Not in a horrible way, but you know you have you have to think about it. try and be better than the person before you because if you're better than that person, then you know I mean you'll be better than them. And it's true, you know. I you know I, I I left my other job and now I've got a better paid job. You know I, I'm in a nicer job now. You know same with other stuff as well. Like just just in general. So obviously I'm now. You know, in a better position because I made myself better than the last person. Because everyone's trying to be better than everyone else, but if you really set yourself aside, you'll you'll you know set yourself out, which which is what I've done. Now, again, going back to money cause problems. Okay, so like I said, my mates, you know, they say they can't go, so I'm having to sit home and just you know do whatever. And I'm like, it's really it's really annoying, and you know, and that's just one that's just one example of money, you know, you know, from a personal perspective, you know, just in personal personal line. Um, but now, if we, if we talk, you know, if we're talking much, much bigger now, like to do with companies and stuff. So, even with companies and stuff, like, you know, if, comp if a company hasn't got money, you know, they'll struggle. They won't be able to pay wages. You know, they can't buy nice things for companies and stuff. They can't buy, you know, new this, new that. And again, that's where, again, money causes problems again for businesses and companies. Now, uh, I know obviously certain companies are bigger and smaller and stuff. But again, why should it have to be about size? If a company needs something new, then they should be able to have it. Like, for example, I don't know, let's take a company and they need. I don't know, let's say they needed new computers, like they were old and stuff, you know, there should be no reason why they should get new computers and stuff. Now, I know it's obviously investment, but again, that's where money causes problems. Now, I, I, I've made loads of theories personally about the world will be better off with money, 
Um, but that's for another commentary. Um, if money didn't exist, um, again, even if we talk about talk about the top, you know, top uh, governments as well, you know, they, they, you know, they're greedy. They take the money, you know, you know, and it leaves us to bear with the bare minimum and stuff. But you know, again, with the government, obviously, gets shared out to councils and stuff. And again, you know, it's even like roads and stuff. Like, you know, if there isn't the money, then it causes a problem because the roads are, you know, the roads are cracked. And, you know, the roads need resurfacing. So again. That's another example where money needs, sorry, not money needs, money causes problems. So, you know, it, it, it just it just surrounds a whole big idea and a whole big topic of, you know, does money cause problems? I mean, I mean, I think it does because of just, like I said, if you don't have money, you know, you, you, you just sit on benefits, you sit on minimum, you know, just sit on minimum benefits, you know, our taxes go to benefits, and it's not, it's just all messed up. And, as I said, money has just been so, like, I don't know, I don't want to call it dominant, but well, I guess it is don dominant money, but you know, like I said, it, it's relied on so much, it, it's it's so needable that, you know, it's like, you have it and again, I say it day to day, I say people in you know, like, they haven't got any money, oh, I haven't got this but I'm like, yeah, but you go to like costume, buy like a freaking, sorry I, I don't mean to swear, but you know, buy like a freaking you know, six pound coffee and a freaking cookie, which, you know, six pound I'm like Six pounds, mate. You can get like a pack of five finest cookies, yeah, at like Tesco or whatever, like a pound. And the finest cookies are nice, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you know, and yes, the Costa ones are nice, but they're probably just like finest, you know what I mean? If you've probably done a bl blind taste, you know, blind taste test, you probably couldn't tell the difference, you know. And again, coffee's coffee, you know, that's what it is, whatever. But you know, six pounds, I'm like, if you can't afford it, just don't buy it, you know what I mean? And, that, and again, you know, people say, oh, but I need that coffee. I'm like, look, if you, if you want the coffee for caffeine, just buy a freaking Monster. They're only a pound, you know, wherever. Or, if, you know, just buy, like, a freaking own supermarket brand, you know, if you really think. It's just, again, where I've been really careful of money. I've always been really, you know, careful of money. So I've always, you know, you know, if I say no to something, I'll say no. Like, I'll rarely buy, you know. It's, it's, let's take Burger King and McDonald's, for example. Off topic, off topic, really. You know, I love Burger King, it's a bitch. I think it's much better than McDonald's. I prefer the burgers, the chips are, you know, the chips are less salty and whatever. But I will never, ever, you will never see me ever, ever buy something from Burger King because of how expensive it is. You know, you can, you know, you can get a large meal at McDonald's for like four pounds. You know, and to me, that's that's like four pound versus like I don't know, eight nine pounds for you know a double bacon cheese XL burger. You know. And again, I know you say no, the quality is better, but I don't care about quality. You know, McDonald's is still decent quality. It's just a lot cheaper, and that's it's the stuff like that where money causes problems with that. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting topic to talk about. But so yeah, my question is to you guys. You know, do you think money causes problems? You know, do, you know, do you ask your friends do you want to go out and you know, you know, they've got the money, so you have to sit at home. Or even for you guys, do you guys struggle with money? And it means you can't go out and have nice things and experience the world. Without money, you can't experience nice things. You know what I mean? It's still money requires everything. So that is my uh, question to you guys. Again, let me know in the comments because it's always about getting you guys involved and to interact with these commentary sessions. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.